We all like Deadpool. We all like Bob Ross. We love painting by numbers. Combine the three and we have a psychotic superhero trying his best to paint a pretty picture. After the Bob Ross homage which is pretty spot on when you remove the innuendo and general psychosis we get the briefest of brief glimpses of the sequel. We see Zazie Beats as Domino, Josh Brolin's Cable Plus returning figures of Vanessa, Weasel, Dope under the Cab Driver, Blind Al, Colossus, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, all of this with the usual explosions and gun action. What set Deadpool apart from the usual? Quick book movie fair was the R rating, which allowed the film to be as rude, irrelevant, funny and gory as its comic book counterpart. The marketing department for the sequel looks to be merely amplifying on what made the first film so successful. Here is the very accurate plot synopsis from Imp after surviving a near-fatal bovine attack, a disfigured cafeteria chef Wade Wilson struggles to fulfill his dream of becoming Maybury's hottest bartender while also learning to cope with his lost sense of taste. Searching to regain his spice for life, as well as a flux capacitor, Wade must battle ninjas, the Yakuza, and a pack of yearly aggressive canines, as he journeys around the world to discover the importance of family, friendship, and flavor, finding a new taste for adventure and earning the coveted coffee mug title of world's best lover. Now obviously, that isn't the plot synopsis for Deadpool 2. Again all this is doing is showcasing the creativity of the marketing for the film, one irrelevancy at a time, I am sure between now and June. We will get more Deadpool news, it is just a question if we are going to be exhausted from the now funny marketing before the film comes out. The untitled Deadpool sequel of Deadpool 2 is due out June 1, 2018.